Look at that. See that? Mozzarella cheese. See that? <laughs> we'll try this out. Got that good cheese right here. What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get that grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I have a masterpiece here. I have mozzarella cheese smothered over onion rings. And of course, bang, that cheese sauce. So it's cheese on top of cheese on top of cheese. And y'all know how I love cheese, right? So we're gonna go in on this, okay? This is getting ready to be amazing. So I'm not gonna hold you guys up. I'm gonna go ahead and dive in on that. Let you guys see this. Look at that. See that? Mozzarella cheese. See that? <laughs> we'll try this out. Got that good cheese right here. Mm. Too good. Mm. Yeah, I love this, man. Well, a lot of people be asking about the cheese sauce, man. Believe me when I tell you, it's magic right here. You can't sleep on the cheese, man. Mm. I'm definitely be doing a lot more different creations for you guys. I want you guys to see how to try something new with what you got, man. Sometimes you have a bunch of ingredients in your house. And you just put them together and make something delicious. Mm. This would be considered like an appetizer. But it could definitely hold you down too if you, you know, don't feel like really cooking. Look it up. Cheese everywhere, man. Hmm. Look. You can't go wrong with cheese. I'll take that back. You can go wrong with cheese. I actually went wrong with cheese a long time ago. Now, I didn't know I was always lactose intolerant. I didn't find that out until like high school. No, um, I used to just think how I ate made me use the bathroom. So nothing special. Come to find out, one day um, I had a little uh, cheese, Mexican cheese pizza they be having in school. So I had me one of those. Um, stomach was acting up, man. You know what I'm saying? But I was taking a test that day in class. So all you hear is like my stomach rumbling, like, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't want to, I was trying to hold. A fart back, I ain't wanna fart, you know what I'm saying? But as I'm keeping it in, keeping it in, like it's making my stomach hurt worse, man, and it's making it louder. So what I end up doing is I'm like, you know what? I'm sitting down, so maybe if I fart, it, it won't, nobody will smell it. So I say, you know what, I'm gonna just let it go. I'm gonna let it out, right? So I let it out, it come out quiet, man, but it's long, it's like, shh. Once that finished, I'm like, whew, I feel much better, right? But I'm starting to smell it. I'm like, what? Man, what is that? Is that me? Oh my God, man, it just, it shoot up through my shirt because I had my shirt tucked in, right? 
So it started coming up through my shirt, man, and I'm smelling it like the whole time I'm taking the test. And I'm like, oh my God. And what I tell you, it stayed like in my shirt, man, for about two hours. It was like the worst experience ever that I've had with cheese. And I'm telling you, you guys understand. If you gotta let it go, let it go. Everybody knows it's natural. Do not hold it in. Them things get lethal after that, okay? You hear the first hit from your boy. <laughs> So trust me when I tell you, you do not want to do that. Whatever you do, just let it out, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll regret it if you don't. You hear it, you hear it at first here, I'm telling you. But if you're in the privacy of your own home, like me, you got to hold nothing. I'll wait for them. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one. I'll get back with you guys next time. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.